Look at the cats all getting ready for our project today. Let some people join. This is a pretty cool view. Sorry if it's, so the, the camera is attached to a um, tripod on a Karanda. So if you see any shaking, it's because the cat has decided to jump on said Karanda. Look at the cats are gathering. because They think that it's time for treats, even though it's not. Hi everyone, Lori, show them Kevin. Lori's got a buddy. You have to bend down a little bit. <laughs> Lori's buddy, Kevin. <laughs> Aw, he's a scoopervisor. You guys see Chris in the corner? She's saying hi. This is a fun view, you get to See the cats run in and out. We're doing a fun activity today here on YouTube. So if you guys are new, we are Furball Farm Cat Sanctuary. Thank you, Dunn XY, for the donation. Um, if you're new, we are Furball Farm Cat Sanctuary. We are a cage-free cat sanctuary here in the state of Minnesota. We have over 350 cats, and our cats think now that the music is off that it's time for treats so some of them are gathering little do they know we are going to be learning how to paint with a feral cat um, so i thought it would be a fun idea to um do a fun activity with the cats we we like to provide lots of different enrichment opportunities for the fur balls, including toys and the cat TV, the playground, um, just things to stimulate them so they're not bored. Um, and one of the fun things I seen on uh, social media before was a where you, I'll show you guys. I have it ready, but basically. Um, you take a canvas, this is my canvas, you squirt paint all around it, your colors of your choosing, and then you put it in a large uh, plastic bag. Uh, I've done this, I did this for my dog, my cat, so they tried to do it. It's kind of a fun thing and you get a keepsake memory. Um, we thought we would try, um, doing this and possibly you guys could if you wanted to buy or purchase a for a fun fundraising opportunity um, if you wanted to purchase a painting that the fur balls did um, we will be posting these on Facebook um, so you guys will have to stay tuned for that but I thought you guys could see um, the cats as they painted their painting. So I'm going to put some true on this plastic bag um, and canvas. You guys will get to watch the cats. If you guys have any questions or uh, comments, I can answer them in between as they are making their thing. So I'm going to put the true on here. So I prepared in advance so I didn't have to squeeze so many churros. So the cats are probably going to wonder what I have in this bowl. It's a big lucky bowl of, of churro. Isn't that fun? So basically the cats, they um, lick the churro and they spread the paint as they're licking it. I forgot to bring it in here. I also found some cute stencils that are cat related that would be kind of fun um, to add. 
after it's dried. We have some, we can see if the cats are Picassos, right? Let's see if they can make some paintings. Probably should have did more than one canvas, but what do you do next time? Okay. Picazzo's, yes. That's a fun way to say it. So this is the, the true on the painting. So we'll see if we can get it in a good spot so you guys can see it. All right. Okay, I'm gonna walk in front of the camera. Just give me a minute. See, that's a pretty good view. That's what we were thinking. We, think, we thought it would be a fun um, way to auction it off to get an awesome donation so that um, you can help support these cats. Look at how many cats are painting it. So if you want to uh, see this painting be done, we will be posting it on Facebook. So keep an eye out for that. The, we will be making more of these also. So this one was, uh, purple, blue, and white. I kind of thought it would be a good one to do the furball colors for the first time. They're really, really going at it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I just wanted to try one at first, but then I think I should have done more than one. A lot of cats are doing it. <laughs> How did it go when Justin Jopi did it? I don't know if they did like one or more. I don't remember. Oh. This, these are bigger canvases though than they did, so. Oh. It's gonna be cool. I know. They're Vincent Van Gatos. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, Alaska. <laughs> Look at Alaska. He's like, but I want some. Let me. Adriana was <laughs> trying to steal this. So we have uh, eight or one, seven feeding stations throughout our sanctuary, seven or eight, um, that the cats are free fed. Uh, we might have to put more, more chur on there. Oh, we had a little kerfuffle. We'll see how, the, how well they spread the paint. Oh, they're clearing. It's kind of a collectively cl collective clear. It's kind of weird how they all kind of went at once. Are they even spreading the paint? <laughs> oh goodness. It's kind of cool because our cats, some of them have cool markings like Trixie, as you guys can see walking past, so she looks like she's a painting herself. Oh. Gunner has, is not in here right now, no. He's probably enjoying our, our playground. Wait, that's Gunner right there. Never mind, he is in here. He's gonna check out the painting to see if he wants to join. Oh, there's Clarence. Yeah, they're not really spreading the, the true. I think I'm gonna have to put more on there. That is Rhett. All right, let me go get, let me get the painting again. All right, give me one second. first spreading um they didn't really spread it <laughs> so we're gonna put more chur on there
Maybe you need catnip or something. Maybe that would, uh, maybe they would roll on it or something. All right, bear with me as I spread the, get the churu. Fuffles. All right, let's let's try this now. Okay, it's covered again. Is it, is it finished, Hannah? No, they have, they have to lick it more. Hey, let me see what it looks like. Well, it's covered. Drew again. <laughs> oh, we gotta adjust the camera. Or yeah, bigger canvas. They would walk on it. Then I need a bigger bag. That's the issue. It was hard finding a big, big bag. Do you think if I put catnip on it, they would roll on it? Yeah, but you know, we could do like a plastic wrap. Oh yeah, plastic wrap. That's true. That would be awesome. Have a really big canvas. Catnip makes some frisky cats, but sometimes no catnip. You don't think they would play with it with catnip? Do you mind putting more churro in this bowl? <laughs> I think they're gonna need it more, more to spread it. A feather toy? These are awesome ideas to enhance this painting opportunity. I don't know if the cats would just walk on it. So what are some cool enrichment activities you guys do for your cats to keep them entertained um, while um, maybe you're gone during the day? What do you... Uh, what do you guys do? I know cat TV is a good one. Maybe radio. Isn't this fun to see all these cats? Ice in a bowl, that's a good idea. So we have daily visiting hours from one to five where you could come and see these cats, um, be cats. A lot of times we do uh, cool, cool uh, enrichment opportunities for the cats while visiting hours are here, so. Um, the cats get to, and you can see the cats enjoy fun things like this. Again, our visiting hours are from one to five. Adriana, you're shaking this, shaking this up. So if you're not just on Facebook, or if you're not just on YouTube, we have um, lots of other social medias, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Oh. We had a little, little skirting over, oop, sorry, on the playground. Everyone's going to look. Do you want to put some more on there? <laughs> no. They're going to devour it. <laughs> They're going to devour it. Do you know how hard it was to get this in there with Desmond and Kevin 
Uh, yeah, I had to do that too. <laughs> This is going to be cute. It is. I mean, people pay millions of dollars for stuff. Yeah. That's a whole bunch different than this. <laughs> and you're helping a good cause. Yes. The proceeds we make from this painting and maybe future paintings we do are going to go directly back to these cats. Again, I think we're going to do like an auction kind of bit on Facebook. So stay tuned to see the end result. Oh my gosh, do you see how many black cats are right there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's funny. They're like trying to imitate the posse. The black cat, Cedric's posse? Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe we can do ones with, well we try our best with one specific cat to do it like Mario or Will. RB land. Oh my gosh. Like every single cat there is a black cat eating the chew right now. That is so funny. We have one, two, three, four, five, six blackies. Blackjack number one. Blackies all the way through number seven. <laughs> or one. Or number six. I mean. There's the actual blackie. She's shaking her head. Oh, there's Boo. Until she's in there. I don't know who those other ones are. Can't see their face. So if you're watching here on YouTube, you probably can see us on Twitch as well. And you can see the cats are painting right now. You can see the funny setup I have holding this camera. And Adriana is trying to knock it over. Nope, oh, Eduardo's coming up. So some of our cats have collars because um, they're black cats and it's a little bit hard to tell them apart. We like to put, um, sometimes when a black cat becomes friendly, we know what their name is. Um, we like to put the collars on them and they're breakaway collars. So what do they do? They break away. And sometimes, a lot of times, the collars do not stay on. That's the tricky part. I don't know if we can necessarily do it with one cat because there are so many cats that want food. You know, because you can't resist a, uh, a true, right? Yes, the collars are to tell, or to tell some of them apart. I don't know guys, what do you think? Do we put catnip on top of the bag? Yes. I'll see what you guys think. <laughs> Maybe they'll roll on it if you put catnip on there. It's help spread the paint. <laughs> All right. They're saying to put catnip on it. Heck yeah. Should we try that first or the catnip? Catnip. Yeah, because they'll all come <laughs> with the temptation. There's claw holes in the bag. <laughs> huh? There's claw holes in the bag. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're using pet safe paint too, so don't get your undies in a bunch. <laughs> Do you want to get the catnip? I know, but I don't want... Adriana's going to knock this camera over. Even though she... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> We'll see what they do. Thank you, James, for the, the donation. We're keeping an eye on the cats so that they don't chew the plastic. <laughs> Coral would have Coral would have uh, interacted with the the zingers, yeah.
I'm surprised you can only see like one cat in this frame right now. Usually there's a ton of cats. You're gonna see the, there's the outdoor. Oh, she's coming with the nip. Yes, it's non-toxic paint and we're putting the cat's favorite catnip on it. See if they will roll on it. Roll around. Yeah, because they're probably gonna roll around with an eye. Oh, yeah. We are going to be um, auctioning it off for a donation on Facebook. So stay tuned. It has to dry first. And I thought we would, there's a couple cute cat stencils that I thought would be fun to add to it. So make sure that the fur balls sign the back, right? Like you do with the painting. Yay, it's your first live. So if you didn't know, we're also on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, um, and Twitch. And we live stream 24-7 on Twitch. Um, our handles are all Furball Farm Cat Sanctuary on all socials except for Twitch, which is at Furball underscore farm. Look at all these guys. Do you like Otis's shave job? Well, they're not interacting with the catnip as much as I thought they would. So the shave cat is um, Otis. Maybe we'll have to put more chewer on it later after this live. Gunners checking it out. Ernesto's watching. Right Ernesto's right. watching. Turn around and look up. He's oh, just yep, there he is. Otis, Otis's shave does look very handsome. Oh, is it, you see the black cat? <laughs> We, we have a cat named Chief, yes. Try the laser. Maybe I'll go grab the laser. We'll see if the cat makes, makes them like it. All right, let's see if the laser helps. So this cute orange cat, the long-haired one, um, is Rhett. You know, they cooperated, cooperative, cooperated pretty good. I cannot say that word for, um, for cats. They liked the churu. Thank you, Claudia, for the donations. Or the donation, the cats really appreciate it. All right, let's see. Is anyone gonna budge? Oh, oh that was not a ball drop. <laughs> Lincoln's hitting it. Let's see if anyone else. Ooh. Isn't this cute? So you can, um, if you are interested, after this painting is done, you can, when it dries, and um, we're gonna post pictures of it on Facebook, and um, you can 
purchase it for a donation and have a piece of divine art from the cats. They're painting it here at Furball. It's a fun enrichment opportunity for them. Let's see if we can get anyone else. Thank you, Doris, for the donation. Yes, we had true on it at first. It, it didn't seem to spread the paint as good as we wanted. It did some, but maybe the paint needs to be um, a little bit more watery. I think the paint seems to be pretty thick. I think it would might spread a little better with uh, with um, thinner paint. Lincoln's really spreading it here. Oh. You're gonna have a cat butt on there. Yeah, trial and error, that's very true. Maybe next time I can try it different way. Well, now the cats aren't gonna let me um, get this. It's cute to watch them all play. Lincoln, yeah, Navarre shadow could thin the paint out, yeah. Oh, Blackie, that wasn't very nice. There's Teddy. Teddy is one of the chicken coop cats. Janice had to go to volleyball. Make it a scented painting. What do you want? Panty poop scent? Speaking of scents, um, oh my goodness, Blackie, why are you being so mean to him? Um, speaking of scents, Julie will be making um, stuff with cool scents coming soon when she gets back here in Minnesota. So stay tuned for that. And the fun <laughs> Kevin Fart scent. The fun um, and cute sense, sensey things that will be coming out are sen scented stuff <laughs> that you can uh, use for your house. Yes, lots of stuff coming up involving sense. <laughs> Scratching stiff stickers, oh my goodness. So the um, cats in Cedric's room and the meet and greet room, that would be a fun opportunity to do in uh, the future as well. Love to think of that. It might be cool to have each segment of the sanctuary. Look at, there's Macy. You guys see her? She's one of our, this one right here. She's one of our newer cats. She's coming to check out the the paintings. Yes, we need a cat named Picasso. So Jeremy is a cat in the meet and greet room with frostbitten ears. Well, there's Tuxie 3. Does he want, oh, Tuxie, see him? He's up here. He's trying to see if he wants to check out this painting. Let's see. He likes the laser too, Tuxie 3 does. They're all having a catnip party and a painting party. You know, it's like painting with wine, but painting with catnip instead. I don't know if anyone would want panty poo <laughs> scratch the stickers. Sometimes when you got when you paint you have to have you have to have something to like you know on re release your inner feelings you know because you want your painting to be to be good be what you're thinking so this torty right here this is Addy okay let's see. Now they're on the painting. 
So we'll, we'll have to see the end result of this painting if you want. It will be um, eventually posted on Facebook. Finger painting, that would, I feel like that would be a bit major mess. Um, you know, even with kids, that's a mess. Could you imagine with cats and the mini, mini paw prints that would be throughout the sanctuary? Look at Gunner. Isn't that cute? For all those who said that he was too, not wanting to be in the sanctuary, look how happy he is. He's enjoying the first, his first catnip party. To think he had to live outside and um, not love him. Nobody, nobody loved him. It would be a cool cat, uh, cat paw painting. But I don't know if that would be feasible. I feel like the only cat that would really let you do that is Boris. But you have to be able to... I mean, it is non-toxic paint, but, you know, you don't necessarily want your cat to ingest it still. So one of the ways you can um, help support us uh, is by liking and subscribe and commenting on this, this video. Share it with your friends. Tag your friends. Make sure to create a free YouTube account and subscribe to Furball Farm Cat Sanctuary. This tortie with the stripe is Miss, Miss Karen. Karen. She is adoptable. She loves to climb up your legs and tell, make sure that you are the one petting her. They're getting pretty uh, good on their painting. Oh, well, they meant... Oh, finger paint might be better to spread. That's a good... Where do you... Is Can you find finger paint at Walmart? Probably. I'll have to look. Is anyone going to play? We would love for you to tag your cat-loving friends. Is anyone gonna paint anymore? There's Jacqueline playing. Look in the school aisle, that's a good idea. Jacqueline's really, really painting. Yes, share it on your Pinterest. Tell other cat lovers that they should do this with either cats or dogs or whatever animal they have. <laughs> the aisle with the crayons. Okay. <laughs> Jacqueline is like really going at it. See if we can get somebody else that wants to paint. Oh my gosh, look at this cat. It looks like a meerkat. You guys see that? <laughs> that was funny. I think that's Peter. He's one of the Brady Bunch cats. That was cute. Yeah, that's Peter. He is a um, uh, Brady Bunch cat. He has polydactyl toes. So you can't really see him right here on camera, but. Yes, the paint. Um, they might almost be done with their painting. They're really spreading it good. Isn't that cute? Yes. <laughs> They're spreading it good. Mm -hmm. 
So we do lots of fun activities like these. If you want to watch um, the cats play at night, you can head over to Twitch and see how rambunctious they are after this catnip party. Or watch Lori's live to see if at 8 p.m. on Facebook to see if this catnip party is making them crazy. Yes, um, Twitch, watching it uh, a lot does help us. Um, and we do um, thankfully receive um, monetary help from them. So make sure to hop onto Twitch. And even if you're just leaving it on while you go to work, maybe your cats want to watch it. Well, that's a good enrichment opportunity. They can see other cats play. It's kind of like a fish aquarium. You can watch cats run around and maybe they'll tap this, this, the screen to see if they, um, to see, to entertain them. They're spreading the paint guys. There's Melissa, let's see if Melissa will come and join them. Here, Melissa loves the laser. Can you see her? Sorry, sorry. She's not coming over, but. but. <laughs> All right, Melissa, do you wanna come paint? No? So we do have um, lots of adoptions that happen at our sanctuary. Through the first quarter of 2024, we had a little over 70 cats adopted from our sanctuary. So we do have lots of cats that go into loving homes and we're very thankful for their families. We always make sure that they go to awesome families. All right, I don't know how much more the cats are gonna be painting. This black cat, this is Salem right here. Um, doesn't seem wanna sh to share the paintings. We do have lots of adoptable cats that you can add to your family. Look at Otis, he's like, tap. <laughs> um, if you want to head over to our website you can find a link to our pet finder i believe i believe it's a pet finder or adopt a pet um, both of them have all the cats that are listed for adoption um, you have to come here in person if you are wanting to adopt we'd love to meet you guys and make sure that you're a fit for our cat our cats All right, Salem, you're not letting anyone else paint. Adriana, don't lick that. Oh, she's biting the camera. Let's see. Oh, here's Ernesto. Let's see if we can get him over here. The painting, we should, the pa painting was over more. He would come. All right, well, I think um, the cats are going to sign off. We Again, we are going to be live on Facebook at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, so in around a little bit over an hour. So in the meantime, head over to Twitch and watch the cats as they finish um, their painting. Again, we will be uh, posting this painting after it's dried and... Uh, 
done on Facebook and do a auction like uh, donation opportunity where you will be able to uh, purchase this painting and as a donation to the cats and a hundred percent of the proceeds will go to them and I think we'll do this more often in the future because the cats are pretty good at painting look at that isn't it beautiful <laughs> all right um, so head over to Twitch. Our handle is at Furball underscore farm, and we will see you then. I feel like we can see an outline of a print. Aw, that's cute. Yeah. Thanks for watching.